I guess I should have known. Um, there's actually anti-boredom, not just day, month. Right. And Kara is here to fill us in and mm -hmm. actually give us some top picks mm -hmm. for how to uh, stay active, stay yes. excited, get that brain moving. Yes, it's good. And I know it sounds maybe a little counterintuitive because you're thinking apps. Well, I don't want to stare at my phone all day. Well, we're getting outside. We're doing things. This is not what this segment is about, except for the first one. Except for the first one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And that's fine. Yes, it is. I'm happy because with that. Different strokes for different folks. Right. And this first one I really enjoy. It's called Trivia Crack. Okay. Ooh. It's an addictive spin on the tried and true trivia genre. So it plays somewhat similarly to Trivial Pursuit. Your question being to correctly answer questions from six different categories. You can play live, you can play against the phone, or you can play against random opponents, you can challenge your friends. There are more than 100,000 questions, and there's frequent updates. You can even suggest something that you want to be quizzed about, so yeah. it's kind of inclusive in that way as well. Mm -hmm. um, that's really good. And yes. I think, if anything, if you're like me and you're worried that you're losing your memory, mm -hmm. um, I mean, what a great way, stay sharp, you know, get the kids involved. Um, I like yeah. that. There's like brain scan, and I mean, if you search on your app, um, wherever you download your apps from, you'll be able to see a bunch of like free brain teaser okay. quiz games. So that's Good. just one that we found and we liked. So I like that one. This next one's gonna get you outside. It's very cool. I downloaded it this morning. It's a geocaching app. You just search geocaching. So it introduces you to the wild world of real life treasure hunting right in your own neighborhood. Now obviously you have to put on all your location services. Right. But this is free and I did it this morning and, and it took me to I didn't I didn't Gold have time to No <laughs> but it took me to Peachtree Hills to a baseball field where there is a container buried. Yes. What? Yes, it's amazing. So it helps you navigate. There's one of two million hidden containers of all different sizes, levels of difficulty. It tells you when you oh, start the fun. journey. It's so cool. It tells you when you start the journey, like how difficult it is, how many people have found it, when's the last time somebody has found the box. And it's like, be careful. If like one of the clues for the Pe one in Peachtree Park was like, be careful if there's a baseball ga game going on, you might need to wear a helmet. And I was like, ooh. Oh, wow. Very exciting. Okay, yes. that is fun. Isn't that incredible? Yes. And it's so cool. You put in your location, and then you obviously get this really neat, like, world view with all the boxes around the city. And you can see what they I are. I need to do that. And I got to put it back. Because you know what? You got to put it back. Don't take anything. Yeah, please don't take anything. Sure. Um, when we talked about this last week, it is, summer is just expensive. It is. I mean, the, and the older they get, every day, they're like, well, what are we doing now? And I'm like, telling our sweet babysitter, Veronica, I'm like, yeah. can we find free things? Like the, the park? Do this. But they're getting almost a little old for the park. Yes. No, do I'm going to do that, that, but I want to do it with them, yes, so I'm going to wait. You really should, and it will tell you how close, like that was the closest one to us here at the station. It's okay. like point two miles away. I love so, you know, it. They're everywhere. It's a really okay. good one. Okay, oh, talking about keeping your brain sharp, this is another one. This is interesting because there's lots of science behind this one. It's Lumosity. It's a little old. You've probably heard of it before, and there yeah. used to be that commercial for it, but it's a training app um, based on scientific principles. It gets great reviews. It incorporates different games and exercises to train different areas of your mind. So it has an attention part, a memory part, a speed part, a problem solving part. This is the part that got me a little bit. You got to take a 10 minute fit test to oh, just I don't determine your baseline <clears throat> scores no. and see how you compare to others oh, your age. No, thank now, you. this one does cost, <laughs> if you want to go a little bit further, it costs $11.99. I think it's a one time um, cost to it, but you get like five minute daily workouts. And I wonder if there's something that you could turn on where you wouldn't have to see how you compared to other people because we don't need to feel bad, more bad about ourselves. Right. No, we do not. Okay. But I mean, I do like that, again, it's kind of. Uh, taking you out of your comfort zone, yes. or if this is a real problem where you're like, God, I just don't feel as sharp anymore. Right. You know, why not try something like this? See where you are, and then watch yourself advance, and sure. then you feel more confident. I have no shame in saying my. <laughs> this is kind of shameful, actually. Okay, then my, don't say no, it. But my Kara. son is in kindergarten, and sometimes oh. when he comes home and he says things that he learned in school, I'm like, huh. Yeah. I forgot that. Wait till you get up you to, need to fourth like brush grade. It. I mean, are <laughs> you smarter you, than a second grader, fifth grader? Wait I don't know. Get to that new math that they. Why, what happened to the old math? What know. happened to it? It was real easy. You're borrowing from that sure. one column. Now everything sure. is like the, we got to think it through. You got to think. Oh, say? I don't know. <laughs> I'm terrified. It's it's, <laughs> it's yeah. Okay. Let's enjoy these last <laughs> few days of summer. Okay. Let's keep talking about apps. Here. Okay. Right, the next one, this is so cool. My son would love this. This is Night Sky. So it's basically a planetarium in your pocket. Ooh. And it makes discoveries of space wherever you go. This is so cool, I think. So day or night, you can just aim your device skyward and a live 3D map will show up. You have to use your location services for this one too. But look how cool that is. Beautifully illustrated constellations, stars, planets, satellites. 
A special night mode helps you read your map in the dark. Cool. This is also a fun feature. Integrated weather reports show the best time for <gasps> stargazing. I and you can keep track of future astronomical events. I love that. Yes. These are all really good. Really good, huh? I know. So much fun in technology. Yes, you know? it is. Okay. Do we have time for more? Yep. Okay, this is interesting if you're into comic books. Comicsology. It's powered by Amazon, but it's an app that lets you purchase, read, and store your favorite comic books, graphic novels, all on your mobile device. It's really cool. I just think the interface of this is so neat looking. Um, but it um, allows you to have access to comic books, graphic novels, including titles from Marvel, DC, Image Comics, Dark Horse. Other features of the Comics app include storing your purchase comic comics on an SD card so you can take it with you and use on other devices Fabulous. and for offline reading. Yes, all in one it? place. Yes, yes. You know the new thing to do these days Tell is me. to start a podcast. Yeah. Everybody's doing it. Everyone Have is. you started one? If you haven't, this next app is super easy. I downloaded this one too. It's called Anchor and it lets you record high quality audio. You can edit and publish your podcast using just your mobile device. It really is in four what? easy steps. It's so easy. The first one's like record some audio and then it's like do you want to splice this into different sections and you can pick and then kind of um, choose the time frames so, like you know if you see a podcast and it's like tune into minute 35 to yeah. talk with courtney cox and you're yes. like okay um you can do that and it's all very easy and then the last one is to share it so you can invite people to share it and you can publish it to a platform okay that's really cool. That's I would really listen cool. to a podcast of you. Why haven't you done one? Um, well, you're doing the water break. I'm doing the water break. Alive.com every Monday. And I do, we do one after our cooking show. It's about food. Yeah. But, but I mean, like, what yeah. about just you? Well, I, I want to get into your, oh, okay, well, sure. I, mean, well, I, know you your, I know your world. <laughs> oh, one more real quick. Wants, okay, good. Um, that was very nice of you to say. Yeah. Um, the last one is called What If, and it's the premise. Okay, this is interesting. So basically my friend and I used to play this in college all the time and I wish we would have created an app, but it's basically just ask you what if questions all day. Oh. Like what if you had your dream job but you were only paid in coffee I mean, coffee grounds or chocolate <laughs> bars. That was one okay. that I saw this morning. Um, and then it tells you how other people answered it. So you know and ask you 10 questions at a time. You can set an alert to have it played you know, every morning if you want to do that. You can ask friends at a dinner party. It'd be a fun thing to do. What if they paid us in Reese's peanut butter cups? I think we'd be would all you, over I it. I know. It's our favorite. Yes, it'd be exciting. That would be so mm. exciting. I love those.